Okay, so I was just using the 3D pen on the avatar to draw like a short sleeve and a little bodice. Um, when I made my curves, I was holding command, I'm on a Mac, it's a little button by the space bar, and that's basically it. So now to kind of turn into the 2D pattern, um, I need to use my edit tool here to make sure some of the pieces are actually straight lines. So my center front, I would always want that to be a straight line, and sometimes if you don't do it, it's going to actually curve it like along her body, it'll be like contoured. So I'm going to right click and say flatten as a straight line. I'm also going to do that on the back. And I know this just from experience of pattern drafting and using patterns. The shoulder seam is also usually always a straight line too. It's not like a curve shape. Um, so for sure those three should be straight. Um, sometimes if you don't do that, you might get trouble where you're trying to then turn it into a 2D pattern and the system won't let you. Um, so that's just one tip. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the flatten tool to turn into 2D patterns. So there's one, there's my sleeve, and there's the back. Okay, and then it says press enter. I have some return for me. Okay, so hopefully it can do that. Let's see how hard this is for the computer. Sometimes my computer freezes right here. Oh, what do we get? Failed to flatten some patterns. Ooh, okay. What it did not like my sleeve. It said no. And I didn't flatten that. I wonder if I will have better luck if I try and flatten it. So let me get um, my edit tool. There we are. And maybe if I take you and right click and say flatten as a straight line. Um, maybe I'll leave that curved. Let's see if I'll have better luck. Let's try it. Going back to my flatten tool. And I'm going to click it. Okay, I'm going to hit return. Am I going to have better luck or am I going to get rejected again? Okay, it did it actually. It's not the prettiest. So honestly, I would re not really recommend using this tool to make sleeves in the first place um, because it's really doing it on your skin and a lot of times sleeves aren't um, you know, on your skin like that, maybe if it's a rash guard or something, but that's usually because you have stretchy fabric. Like even right now I'm trying to figure out what is what. Um, I think what I want to do is hit um, simulate. Okay, ooh, and nothing is sewn together. Cool, good to know. Um, okay, so I could sew a couple things together. There we go, just to kind of get this guy to stay. That's my stitching. And I hit space bar and space bar again. Um, yeah, this sleeve is definitely a mess. So that was really the original question is how to kind of clean this up. So I'm going to use this little selection tool. I'm going to click right here. And then that's my picking point. I can see that's the top of my sleeve. Now, normally this really does take a little bit of pattern drafting experience. Um, but normally this is not a typical sleeve shape. I wish I had a tool that I could like draw it for you here. Maybe I'll just try to draw what a sleeve shape usually looks like. Oh, let me get this tool. Uh, I'm going to hold on and click here. This is not making it so big for some reason. Okay. Normally, um, a sleeve is going to kind of look like a bell shape, kind of like what I have here. It's sort of messy. Um, let me see if this is like kind of a weird curve. So I would probably make this guy. I'm trying to like off the fly draw. A sleeve's gonna look sort of like this. So this is obviously a nightmare, it's a mess, it's really bad. So I'm almost like, uh, is it better to just draw a sleeve the old fashioned way with the 2D, you know, um, and on the 2D pattern versus trying to clean this up? Um, Cause it's definitely gonna take a lot of work to clean up. Like I'm gonna hit the letter Z, I guess I'll just, oh, there's two points there, I'm gonna delete one. It doesn't like that. Okay, maybe I'll move you. <laughs> oh, brother. I can't even believe this. There we are. Um, okay, so what happens if I just select you and say delete? Okay. Um, so this is really, if I click right here, that's like, this is the top of my bell curve. Okie dokie. So I wonder if I should even like rotate this guy. This guy is kind of a mess. So it's probably just not recommended doing it this way anyways. Um, why don't I select this guy with letter Z, click you, right click, and turn it to a curve point. Okay, now what is going on? What is this? That's fine. Oh my gosh. 
gosh. And then where is this? Okay, maybe the hem should actually just be straight. So why don't I just delete that guy? Um, okay. And then what is this? Is that, oh, it's like going under the arm. That's kind of weird. So it's just like really scooping in. So I think what I'm actually gonna do is like probably bring this out. Probably just gonna delete that for now. Same with this guy. Oh, maybe I actually shouldn't have brought that. Maybe this is okay right here. Um, I'm gonna flutter A, rotate this guy a bit. Um, and we have lots of curved tools to play with. I was just hitting the letter C and you can kind of move around your curve a little bit. Um, here, let's see here, this guy is only one segment. Um, what else is there that we could play with? We could try our smooth curve. If we go like right here to here, then I could pick this guy and then this bar will kind of let you like smooth it out. That was probably not very good. It's too much. Um, and then let me try that again. From here to here, pick you. And then I kind of want it to actually go in a little bit. Um, okay, maybe I will now go back to edit. Actually, I'm going to hit Z. I'm going to change you to a curve point. And hit the letter C. Maybe I'll add a point here with the letter X. And then I'll take Z and kind of scooch it a little bit. Just trying to find like a more regular kind of shape. I'm sort of forcing it. Hit the letter C. Okay. I'm going to hit the letter Z. I'm going to turn you into a curve point as well. Okay. Um, yeah. Still not the prettiest. It's better when I drew it. I'm just going to hit simulate. Okay. And then I'm going to, I know these are not the right shape. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit the letter Z. This is 3.9 inches. Here. Why don't I change them both to like three inches? Um, change length. Okay, I'll make it shorter. So I'll make it three inches. Okay, and then this guy too. Change length to three. I'm going to switch my direction. Okay. Um, and then something else in pattern drafting that we do is we would make sure this arc is the same as this oopsies, curve plus this curve as well. Um, so there's kind of a lot of pattern drafting to do here. Um, so again, I mean, this drawing on the avatar, it's really good for like swimsuits or like really bodycon things, but probably not the best thing. Um, another technique is to start with like a sloper muslin that fits pretty good and then instead of using the avatar 3D pen you can use the uh, garment 3D pen. So that way you at least have some base shapes of, of a decent fit so you're not like really starting from scratch trying to draft an armhole shape. Like that's something that's nice to have saved on a sloper already done for you. Um, because again, when you're drawing it on the avatar, it's drawing it like on its skin. So it's trying to make it skin tight and usually you don't want that. So, um, so I don't know how helpful this video was, but I thought I would give it a go to kind of explain that 3d pen tool a little bit and cleaning up the armhole more in glow, or if it's just better to actually draft it, um, the armhole from scratch. Oh, did I reset those? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's it.